Hi, everybody. It feels like we've been talking about an electrified Jeep Wrangler forever, but now we have real photos of the model in the flesh. Meet the Jeep Wrangler 4XE. The Wrangler 4XE was revealed at the 2020 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas and a friend of TFL sent over these shots showing us the plug-in Wrangler for the first time ever on US soil. Now we can see that styling for this model remains nearly the same. It does get some unique 4XE badges and blue accents will make sure you know that this is an electric model. Jeep also says that on the interior there will be some unique details and styling cues but with no new photos released we can't actually see what those are gonna be sitting next to the Wrangler 4xe Jeep also revealed the compass and renegade plug-in hybrid models now all of these will be sold in North America but sadly Jeep didn't reveal more details than that so we still don't know what the powertrains are going to be Despite that though, we can do some informed guessing. So first of all, on the Compass and Renegade, Jeep has already revealed these plug-in models in Europe. And over there, they use a turbocharged 1.3 liter four cylinder engine paired with an electric motor for a total output of 240 horsepower. All electric driving range for these small Jeep models is pegged at about 31 miles based on the European test cycle. And both of them offer four wheel drive, but what's interesting is that the electric motor drives the rear wheels while the internal combustion engine drives the front. As for the Wrangler 4XC, I would expect all of the off-road credentials to be exactly what we already know from the Wrangler Rubicon. Now under the hood, we expect some version of the plug-in hybrid powertrain found in the Chrysler Pacifica. Now the Pacifica uses the 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar engine, same as the Wrangler, and that should help to make packaging easy because that engine already fits into the Wrangler. Now, in the Pacifica, this plug-in power plant makes 260 horsepower, and it is rated for 33 miles of all-electric range, thanks to a 16 kilowatt hour battery pack. We don't know exactly how the Wrangler's four-wheel drive system is going to work yet either, but I would expect that it will stay mostly the same as it is today. Now, one other parallel we can draw from the Pacifica plug-in hybrid is price. If you go for the plug-in minivan, you're looking at about a $13,000 premium over the next model. So don't expect the plug-in version of the Wrangler to come cheap. Now these 4XE models are just the first in an entire electrified lineup that Jeep is going to roll out. It's beginning with plug-in hybrids, but all electric models are also on the horizon, so I don't think it'll be long before we're seeing an all-electric Jeep Wrangler. Well everyone, we're excited here at TFL for the plug-in hybrid Wrangler. Electrification means instant torque, but still having a gas engine means you get the range you want when you're off-road. This is actually the best of both worlds, and that should mean it should work great when you're out on the trail or stuck in city traffic, and we can't wait to test it out. So that's it for this video, guys. Make sure you go below into the comments and let us know what do you think about electrified Jeeps and a plug-in hybrid Wrangler. It's it's gonna be exciting, no doubt about that. And as always, hit like, hit subscribe, and come right back to the channel for the latest news, views, and real world reviews. See ya.